Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to create this sequence step by step. A lot of you guys asked for a VFX tutorial video, both from Unreal Marketplace and YouTube. In this video, I will show you how to use VFX and animations in your sequencer and renders. If you also wanna see a VFX tutorial in game usage, please let me know in the comments. For this video, I will use my own VFX assets, which you can also buy on Unreal Marketplace. You can find the links in the description and the animations are from Mixamo. Also, you can check out my latest VFX bundle, which includes all my VFX asset packs with a 90% discount special offer for a limited time. Hope you enjoy the video and make use of it. Let's start the video. First of all, let's create our sequencer and set a camera. This view is okay to me. Create a keyframe to save the location of the camera. Then we need to create our character blueprints to set up our animations. I will set my collision presets to no collision for my mage character because I don't want him to block his own spells. I will duplicate the mage character we made to save time and change the mesh and create my warrior character. Now get them in our scene and drag them to our sequencer. Let's add the idle animations to our characters first. Then we will add the spells to our characters' hands. I will use these simple charge-up spells for this scene. We will create Niagara system component to our mesh in the character blueprint and attach it to skeletal mesh hand socket.
Adjust their positions like this. I will fast forward the rest and do the same. After you adjusted the positions, let's add Niagara components in Sequencer and add Niagara System Lifecycle Track to adjust their lifetime and timings for our spells and animations. Now let's add the spell casting animation and blend it with the idle animation to make a smoother transition. and add another idle animation to make our character go back to idle position. Drag the spell we want our mage to cast to the scene and adjust the position and rotation. You can also do it by attaching it to a hand socket like I just showed you before, but I will do it this way. Again, we will add it to our sequencer and set lifetime to match the animation. As you can see, it goes through our warrior. Because we left the collision preset to no collision, we will set it back to default for our warrior character. Now it collides with our character. Let's add the hit animation to our warrior and again, match the collision time and the animation. This seems okay to me. Now let's do the same process to all our VFX and animations. I will not fast forward this time. I leave you alone with the music.
This is the easiest way to make a simple animation render. If you want to see more tutorials like this, please let me know in the comments and don't forget to like the video. I read all comments and questions on my socials. Also, don't forget to check out the Season 1 Bundle Special Offer. Link in the description. See you on the next video.